Hello, and welcome back to Random Vids. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be the ultimate ranking video. So, as you know, in the past, I've ranked every single, mostly every single video from the 101 Dalmatians, the series, episodes. And everybody likes those and I don't, and I actually kind of like making them too. They're fun, and I've ranked all of them. I've ranked season one and all five parts of season five or season two as well, and those all seem to be a really big hit. A lot of you guys love it. And if you don't want to keep, before we begin, if you don't want to keep searching up my channel, the simplest, easiest thing to do is subscribe. So whenever I make interesting and new, different videos like this that you think you might enjoy, I mean, you can, you can just watch it. If you don't want to watch all my, if you don't want to watch my other videos and only want to watch Dalmatian videos, then that's fine. So, um, anyway, I thought it would be cool to look at every single episode that I've already talked about from seasons one all the way to season, at the end of season two, and I decided to rank all of them from worst to best. You every, you've already seen them by parts, but now let's do the whole show. And like I said before, there is a few episodes that aren't in it because there's ones that just doesn't pop up, so I don't um, remember what the title is and all that stuff. But I do remember like one or two not being in the show, and nothing much I have to say. I'm not going to talk too much about the episodes because you've already heard me. And besides, we need to keep this moving. So. Without further ado, let's get started, and there was a total of 98 episodes, probably two that I missed, but 98. So 98 in my personal least favorite episode is... Still Splishing and Splashing. I've already mentioned this before, but this is definitely my least favorite episode of the series. Grumpy Goose is just as grumpy as usual, and she ruins the show in my opinion, and this episode in particular. Uh... I've already talked about this one before, we're not going to talk about it too much. All I'm saying is that this episode is definitely the worst episode of the series, mainly because of Grumpy Goose herself. So, I mean, let's at least we got this one done and over with, right? It can only get better from here. Number 97 would go to... Citizen K9. Yeah, this one is bad as well, but I'd still take it over splishing and splashing, of course. I mean... I... Uh... You kind of see a pattern with these two episodes. Um, they're both... They're both... Well, they're both bad. That's a pattern already. And they're both spoiling a character just to make them look even worse and get, making the pups in trouble. This one, I don't feel like is quite as bad as Splishing and Splashing, but it's still definitely very bad, for sure. Number 96 would go to... The Goodbye Chick. So, another unlikable character, Cornelia, a.k.a. Spot's mom. I've already talked about her. I am not going to continue talking about her. All I'm saying is that this episode is also bad, and instead of it being everyone mean toward the pups, it's everyone's mean to Spot, and it's just as obnoxious. And it's bad, for sure. So let's move on. Number 95 would go to... Love em and flee em. Yeah, I've already talked about this episode before in the past as well. It was in the very first part because it was in season one, of course. Uh, another character yet again that is dislikable is good old Moochie. Or should I say, bad old Moochie. Yeah, they go overboard with all the torturing for Lucky. Well, do I really need to say, like, fleas? turning him pink, giving him a bath, making him smell bad. Like, ugh, there's just... Why? Ugh, Mooch is so unlikable. This, this episode definitely proves it. Number 94 would go to... Conehead. We just recently talked about this one about a week or two ago, and, well, my opinions haven't changed at all. Um, the only reason why I think it's better than Love Him and Flee Him is because the funny parts like the Roger parts that I'm currently showing right now. And, well, the torturing isn't quite as bad for Lucky. And I guess that, um... 
I guess that, uh, Mooch, oh yeah, I don't guess, but I know that at the end, Mooch gets what he deserves at the end as well. So, it's not quite as bad as Lovin' and Fleam, but definitely pretty close. Number 93 would go to... On the Lamb, we've moved on from the bad ones and on to the boring ones. On the Lamb is the number one definition of boring. It's so boring, it is bad. Like, seriously. Like, uh, I don't... <sighs> yeah, yeah, It. you know what I mean. It's, it's so boring, it's bad. So, yeah, um, no, let's move on. Number 92 would go to... He followed me home. Yeah, like the last one. Instead of big sheep, though, it's big elephant. Wow. But I'm not going to lie, this one isn't quite as boring as On the Lamb. Just barely a little bit more enjoyable than On the Lamb. But definitely still really close. Number 91 would go to... Lobster Tail. I don't know how you can make an episode with a lobster in it interesting. And, yeah, you don't. It's just... Well, as I said before, it's a very boring episode with nothing much going on, so there's not much I have to add, so we can just move on. Number 90 would go to... Horace and Jasper's big career move. I know, this one looks like do the right thing, but it's not, I promise you. It's Horace and Jasper's big career move. So, as I said before, because I just recently talked about this one, it's an episode with flashbacks. whoop de doo And it's boring. Not as boring as the other three boring ones, but still boring. You can't do Jasper and Horace by themselves. You have to make them either be with Corella Deville or the pups. You can't make them be by themselves or with... or meeting someone new, because that's just not gonna work. It's not gonna be funny at all. And that's sad, because Jasper and Horace are some of my favorite characters in the show. They're just so hilarious to watch. But when you're not going to put them with Corella or the pups and just make it flashbacks, it's pretty boring, nonetheless. Number 89 would go to... Humanitarian of the Year. This is the second flashback episode. Well, technically, it's the first one in the show. But in my opinion, it's probably just a l just like a hair better than the other one. And the reason why is because the when it's not showing flashbacks, it's not quite as boring, I guess. But um, there is actually more flashbacks in this episode than Horace and Jasper's big career move. I don't know why, there just is. But both episodes being pretty boring and definitely towards the bottom of the list. Number 88 would go to... Tick Track Toe. Yeah, I've already talked about this one as well about a few months ago. And is it still a bad episode? Do I still agree with my opinions? Of course I do. There's actually a few episodes that I actually have changed my mind on. Oh, only a few of them, though. And this one is not one of them. I do not like Tic Track Toe. It's just, well, boring. Not as boring as a lobster, a lamb, or an elephant but still boring. And what's the highlight of this episode? Uh, I don't really need to say. Number 87 would go to... You slipped the disc. Yeah, I still agree with this one as well. I still think it's a just pretty bland and boring episode of literally the first episode of season two. And my opinion hasn't changed. I still think it's pretty boring and I mean, I think I've just seen this one too much. That's probably... That's probably... Why I don't like it as much as other ones. Because I've seen it too much, and I'm just tired of it. And, yeah. So, you want to move on? Of course you do. So let's move on. Number 86 would go to... How about that? More like, chow about that. This one I still think is a pretty unnecessary episode. And it's just... As boring as I thought it was. And, yeah, it's definitely on the boring side. Um, yeah, not much I really have to add about this episode. It's just boring, really forgettable, and, yeah, you know the rest. So let's move on, I guess. Number 85 would go to... Out to lunch. Yeah, this episode is still pretty boring. 
there's just not much in it that just makes me enjoy it, I guess, as much as the others. But it's better, like I've said before, it's better than the other ones that I've already talked about. And, but, altogether though, it's just a pretty man-boring episode. And there's not much I have to add, so let's move on. Number 84 would go to... Sharuzel Watch. Yeah, I still find this episode pretty boring. There's not, there's just not much to it. They follow this Sharuzel that's just, um, Corolla's pet. I forget her name, his name, whatever. Scorch, that's his name. Uh, yeah. Not much to add. If you don't, if you are wondering why I'm not explaining the episode, it's because I've already explained it and I don't want this video to go on for too long. So, they chase after a Sharuzel. That happens to be Scorch. The end. Number 83 would go to... The High Price of Fame. Well, Spot turns into a superhero. I've already talked about it. I don't need to say anything else. She just turns into a superhero. It's pretty boring, not gonna lie. Number 82 would go to... It's a Swamp Thing. Yeah, this one's boring. Because it's all about a scarf. <sighs> yeah, let's move on. Number 81 would go to... Easy on the Lies. This one really does remind me of It's a Swamp Thing, and it's probably just as boring as that one as well. And, yeah, not much I have to add that I've already added before, so we're gonna move on. Number 80 would go to... How Noon. Yeah, we already know this is probably, I think, the first episode with Green Pug in it, and I think they do a really good job showing off Green Pug and his fear of cats, which is silly because he's not the type of person who would probably be afraid of something. But he is, and silly whenever he gets afraid of something, he always falls asleep, which is silly already. But altogether, I th mine is that stuff. The episode is still pretty boring and just not awesome or anything, or heck, even good. Number 79 would go to channels. Yeah, I still find this episode pretty forgettable and boring to watch, and speaking of pretty forgettable and boring, that equals there's not just much, there's not much to talk about, so we can just move on. Alive and Chicken. Eh, I guess we're starting to sort of move out of the episodes that are really boring, and we're just heading into the ones that are just boring. Like, they're not really boring, they're just Boring. Starting with Alive and Chicken. Uh, like I said before, the episode is just okay. Actually, it's not okay. It's pretty boring, so it's not that okay. So, eh, it's just eh, I guess. So let's move on. Number 77 would go to... Mall Pups. Eh. I mean, like the other ones, I just don't really have words. It's just a pretty boring episode with the pups just going in a mall. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I've already talked about this one before. It's just not for me. I'm sorry. I know people really do like this one, but, I mean, they're just kind of more boring in my opinion. This one, well, this one is kind of more boring in my opinion, so let's move on. Number 76 would go to... Deville Age Elder. This is another one people would do like, but it's just, yet again, it's just not for me. I feel like it's long and it's just a little boring still. But altogether, it's a decent episode. Like, it could be worse, but altogether, it's just not really for me. So, let's move on. Number 75 would go to... The Life You Save. Yeah, I've talked about this one before as well. And, yeah, I still don't really like it that much. It's just, um, dumpling following around Lucky. Well, I shouldn't say I don't really like it that much, because it can be kind of interesting at times. And it's not horrible. It's definitely not a bad episode, but it's not a great episode either. It's just a meh, almost in the middle, more of a below average type of episode. Number 74 would go to... My Fair Chicken. Like I said before, this one is kind of like, um, 
the run whatever the runaway chick i think that's what it's called um where spot's mother is being um mean to spot because i don't know cuz she's cornelia i guess i don't know and um this time around same situation but she's definitely a lot nicer about it in this version than she is in the other version in the other one altogether though this episode is still not the best like that like the runaway chick but it's better for sure number 73 would go to purred it through the grapevine yeah uh my opinions have not changed on this one it's still in my opinion a pretty boring ish episode it's just yeah mm -hmm. you know purred it through the grapevine if you've watched the episode, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, let's continue. Number 72 would go to... Profit and Loss. Yeah, I've already talked about this one as well. I keep saying that, I know, because I've talked about all of these episodes before. So Profit and Loss is a season one episode where um, Cat Pig is um, this fortune teller thing. Well, at least everyone thinks she is. Um, yeah, I've already talked about this episode. So, if you want me to explain, then you're just, you're just gonna have to watch the season one video, I guess. It's a pretty, mm, eh, type of episode. I don't know. So, it's just, eh, it's right in the middle, I guess. I don't know. So, let's move on. Number 71 would go to... Two for the show. If I haven't said it already, this is number 71. And, yeah, my opinion still hasn't changed on this one. It's still a pretty boring episode with Lucky just going to a show with Stephen the Crocodile. Uh-huh. Let's move on. Number 70 would go to... Southern Fried Cruella. I've said this before, but this one just really reminds me of Barn Boozled. And I feel like it is that episode, just like... Just that they took out the fun and the... Just that they took out the fun of that episode. Not gonna lie, though, this episode is kind of fun. It's funny. I mean, Corella obviously is funny in the show, so it's silly seeing her again just being, well, Cruella in the show, not Cruella in the movies. But, eh, still, it's definitely not as good as Barn Boozled, though. Altogether, Southern Fire Cruella is decent enough. So, yeah, let's move on. Number 69 would go to... Wild Chick Chase. Yeah, I've talked about this one before as well. It's just, yet again, another meh type of episode. And there's not much I really have to add. So, I mean, let's just move on to the next one, I guess. Number 68 would go to... Watch for Falling Idols. Yeah, yet again, I've talked about this episode because I've talked about all these ones. So, um, this one is, I guess, okay. Um, what is it called again? Oh, Watch for Falling Idols. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah, it's the only episode with Thunderbolt in it. Well, no, there's more, but then this is the only main one with Thunderbolt. Like, not just on TV, but at the Deerly's farm, if you know what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, it's a bleh episode. So, let's move on. Number 67 would go to... Move it on over. This one, like I said before, really does remind me of Profit and Lost, but it's better in my opinion. I don't think it's quite as boring. Both episodes focus around Cad Pig trying to deal with things around the farm, and like I said, it does really remind me of Profit and Lost, but I just think it's a little better. But thanks to Cad Pig, all the animals start fighting. Good job. And, well... She is only trying because, yet again, she's only a pup, but, I mean, it just doesn't work out, and I've already talked about it, so, altogether, it's just a pretty okay, I guess, episode. Yeah, I moved from meh to okay, so, let's move on. Number 66 would go to... Invasion of the Doggy Snatchers. Yep, this is the Aliens episode. Where all the chickens think that the pups are aliens, but they really aren't. <laughs> In fact, the only alien around is that main chick right there. Other than that, though, I mean, 
episode, yet again, is just kind of more of a uh, type of episode. So let's move on. Number 65 would go to... Prima Doggies, or Prima Doggies, whatever one you want to call it. Yeah, this one is still just kind of eh, uh, I guess. And there's not much I have to add about this one, except that that guy, what whoever he is, just, I don't know. Hires Lucky because, well, he's a baby Dalmatian. I don't know anyone who would say no to a baby Dalmatian. Only if they don't like dogs or if they don't like Lucky. And, well, like I said before, it's just an okay-ish type of episode. So, there's not much I have to add. So, we're gonna move on. Number 64 would go to... The Artist Formerly Known as Spot. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't really have words for this one that I've already said. It's just a pretty okay-ish type of episode where Spot makes a bunch of paintings for Cruella de Vil, and yeah, there's not much I have to add about this episode. It's a pretty decent episode. Pretty good, I guess. So, uh, let's move on to the next one. Number 63 would go to... Hog Tired. Yeah, this is definitely... This one is actually definitely one of the more better dumpling episodes. I don't know. I think it's silly how she just wants to um, play with the pups and, and wants to be part of their group, I guess. And they're like, no, we're not going to have dumpling in our group. Are you kidding me? So, altogether, it's a pretty good episode. I guess we've moved to pretty good episodes. So, this one is, I guess, a pretty good one. Number 62 would go to... Food for Thought. This is the first episode with that one villain that I always call him. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep continue calling him that one villain. And, yeah, I mean, there's not much I have to add about this episode. It's just an alright episode. It's fine how it is. It's nothing awesome or anything, but it's nothing bad either. So, let's move on. Number 61 would go to... Film Fatal. Yeah, this one is kind of like Mall Pups, as I already said. But it's just better in my opinion, so, I mean, there's nothing much I have to add about this episode. Uh, I've already talked about it, it's just a okay-ish episode, and it's, I guess, a better one, so let's move on. Number 60 would go to... The Maltese Chicken. Eh, there's two spot episodes where he, she becomes a detective, and this one is definitely the worser one of the two. Both happen to be a special, I think. And, I mean, it's just a pretty boring one. There's not much in this episode that's awesome or anything. It's it's alright, it's fine how it is, but there's just nothing, like, awesome about it. That's all I'm saying. And, I, and well, to only ten more to go. I say ten more to go because this is definitely going to be a part two series because we've, we've already been going for a while, so, I mean, this is going to be a part two video for sure but so we'll stop at fifth after 50 and for now let's talk about the other 10 episodes number 59 would go to jurassic bark yeah so this one is the one with that prehistoric dog in it as well as that one villain with corella of course this time around and this episode happens to be okay and just decent so, I mean, okay and decent means it's okay and decent. I don't mind watching it every once in a while. So, let's move on. Number 58 would go to... Swine Song. Uh, I don't know if I said it or not, but this one's number 58. And, I mean, it's a okay episode. Um, usually a Dumpling is after Lucky, but this time... She's after, um, Rolly, and, I mean, that's a different change, I guess, and it's, yet again, like I said, a decent episode, so let's move on. Number 57 would go to... The Fungus Among Us. Yeah, this episode is a pretty good one, I guess. Um, I've mentioned what happened before, um, Scorch gets this mushroom scent caught in him and Corella wants it because it smells good at first at least until um well until it doesn't smell good because they're mushrooms and um they get bad after a while 
I think, oh, this is a special too, so this is longer. It's a pretty decent episode, pretty good, I guess. So let's move on. Number 56 would go to Lucky to be Alone. So this is yet again one of the first episodes in season two. Well, because they don't do three, four, five, no, it's just season two and one. And this one is honestly a pretty good episode. Um, it made top ten for me in the part two rankings, and it makes top sixty in the overall rankings. Oh, it's, well, it's a pretty sweet episode. It's definitely not awesome or anything, but it's, it's better, for sure. So, yeah, let's move on. Number 55 would go to Goose Pimples. As I said before, this one is kind of the scary episode of the series, and it honestly isn't that scary. Once you've watched the episode once, yeah, you know what's going to happen. And heck, even before watching the episode, it still isn't scary. But it's still an interesting episode, and very, not very, but it's entertaining, and it's interesting for sure. Nothing awesome or anything, but interesting. Number 54 would go to... Hail to the Chief. I really do like this episode. It's it's pretty interesting at times. Like, it can be really interesting at times, and then other times it just isn't interesting. It's just kind of more of a back and forth, interesting and not interesting episode. Um, well, what scenes are interesting, you may ask? Uh, do I really need to say? But, I mean, altogether, it's definitely a pretty good episode. Number 53 would go to... The High Price of Fame. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. This one reminds me of High Price of Fame. Really, though, it spots Fairy God Chicken. And, as I mentioned before, you know what happens. She turns into a dog, then she turns back to a chicken. Okay, so, I mean, let's move on. Number 52 would go to... The Dogs of Deville. Um, yeah, this one is a pretty good one. There's a few, I guess, stage show episodes, like two for the show. And this one is just that, but better, for sure. I mean, we're getting to the stuff that I honestly do enjoy watching, starting with this good episode, The Dogs of Deville. And, yeah, it's definitely a really good one, so let's move on. Number 51 would go to... Rully's Excellent Adventure. This one, as I said before, does kind of remind me of Wild Chick Chase, but just, I mean, much better. This one is really interesting, and I think it's really cute how the chicks do whatever Rolly does. I mean, chicks are cute, and pups are cute, so together it equals really cute, I guess. So, I mean, not much I have to add, so let's move on. Number 50 would go to... Market Mayhem. Something silly that I actually didn't know is that um, those same old people who run the Market Mayhem were also in the episode Channels, but this one is definitely much better than the episode Channels. It actually feels like there's a purpose to this episode instead of just being um, an episode where the farm animals watch TV. It's a pretty good episode. Instead of seeing the also kind of like mall pups, instead of the pups being at, well, a mall, they're now at, well, a grocery store. And, um, altogether, it's a pretty good episode. I really do enjoy it. Um, and this concludes this part of this entire ranking. I'll definitely be doing the, no the second half another time. For now, though, uh, we're stuck with this first half. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. So, I'll see you all next time in the, I guess, better side of the videos. Not saying these other ones weren't bad, weren't good they definitely there's definitely some pretty good ones in this part but i mean the next part they're gonna be even better so let's move so let's move on so i'll see you next time bye